Hi, this is my review on uh, one of our favorite history curriculums. Um, it is the Evan Moore History Pockets. And there's all different kinds of history pockets that you can use. Uh, you can use some from grades uh, one to three. There's different ones you can use for this grades. Uh, this is Ancient Civilizations. And it tells you on the back other ones that you can use. Um, Life in Plymouth Colony, Ancient Civilizations, and Native Americans. Uh, so um, we just love this curriculum. Um, it's really a hands-on approach where you can go through this book and as you're learning about history the kids make things and put them in pockets. And I'm going to show you an example of one that we've made. Um, we've done Ancient Egypt before. We have done uh, Ancient Rome and Ancient Greece. So when we did the study of the ancient civilizations, we went through those. Um, here's a few that we worked on. This is Ancient Greece. Uh, we did this one year. And then, or this is Ancient Egypt, sorry. And this is Ancient Greece back here. Um, we have done Life in Plymouth Colony. And last year, my daughter at our homeschool co-op did Moving West. Um, the one that I was, I was going to show you and walk you through is uh, the American Civil War. We did this one in our homeschool co-op, and it's just one of our favorites of all of the history pockets. Um, I'm going to walk you through how you can set it up. I have two here. I have my daughters. Now, there's different levels. We used, uh, my daughter was in, I believe, second grade when she did this, even though it says grades four through six. Uh, you can modify it to the age that you need it to. Um, to be and um, this is my son's and he was I want to say fourth grade when he did his and my daughter was about fifth grade so uh, this is a Civil War what you do is you can start out by uh, folding the paper into pockets and you're gonna need the larger paper um, the 11 by 13 size I believe and um, you can make a cover just by cutting this one down and I think in my son's class what they did is they just took the whole sheet and they wrapped it around and they zip tied it which is one way to do it or you could tie it with string. Now um, I'm going to go through the pockets and go through each one of the lessons. Uh, the first pocket and what you do is um, you go through the book and it will tell you exactly I have so many papers in here because I did this with my class. Uh, it tells you exactly what to print out and what to cut and it gives you directions on how to assemble it and um, it does give you permission to photocopy these pages if you need to do other copies. So it, it, tell, it walks you through what you need to do for each pocket. And so for example this is the first pocket, it's an introduction and there was um, different activities that kids can do that tells them about how the Civil War first began. It talks about like, the South and the North and it goes through and the kids can decorate it and they cut it and paste and um, they cross words. They have worksheets. Here's a map of the United States during that time in 1861. Um, and it talks about different facts. Each, each pocket does have a fact sheet that the kids can uh, go over with you as uh, you're learning your lesson and then they store everything in this pocket. It's actually pretty neat. Um, so and you can each each um, section in this book will walk you through at least four or five lessons of things to put in each pocket. And, this, and it, it's a full year curriculum that we used it for. It was um, it was neat to supplement for it. Like we could visit some homes from the Underground Railroad, go to a couple um, plays on um, Gettysburg and um, that sort of thing. And you could do some reenactments. Uh, we watched lots of videos. We even had a reenactment soldier come in and give a presentation to the kids. Uh, that was really nice and, um, and fun for the kids to do that. We watched some videos and like, here's an example of the cotton gin. And um, if you live down south, it would meet, be neat to go to a cotton field and see how cotton is picked today versus back when um, the slaves um, were the ones that were doing it on the plantations. So there's a few pockets there and you could just go through each one of these things and it has different activities for each pocket. It's actually 
a uh, pretty pretty fun curriculum. Now we actually did use um, Homestead in the Woods um, also curriculum also to help supplement some of the things. Um, it was it was fun. We didn't use it too much because this was a, a lower aged uh, class, but some of the older age class did use some um, items from their curriculum to add to this to supplement for the age of the children. So that is how you put our history pockets together. It's actually pretty fun. We have a whole bunch of them because we just love doing them. Um, they're easy to put together. You are going to need art supplies, lots of construction paper, scissors, glue, crayons, markers. Um, and I, my kids are hands-on learners, so they really do enjoy having a craft time, but it's all around a, a history lesson. And um, I think we're going to go back to doing another one next year on the Explorers or even the American Revolution. So I hope you liked our review of the Evan Moore History Pockets, and um, um, try one out. Have a nice day. God bless.